Welcome to this week's assembly. My theme today is the parable of the Good Samaritan, one of Jesus's most famous parables. A few years ago, I wrote a story based on that parable, and I'd like to tell you my story today. My story is set in Africa. And there was a, a leopard who had given birth to a baby. And she'd hidden a baby in long grass while she went off hunting because it, she needed to keep it safe because lions and hyenas would try, to, if they saw the baby, would, would kill it. But off she went hunting and unfortunately she had an accident and died. Baby leopard didn't know about it and he kept calling for his mummy. Getting hungrier and hungrier. Now, up in the sky, flying around, was a toucan called Beaky. And Beaky could see for a long way because he had a bird's eye view. And he knew what had happened to the baby's mummy. And he knew that the baby was in the long grass. And he knew that the baby needed help because it was too young to survive on its own. As he flew around, he saw another leopard come towards the baby looked at the baby, then saw a gazelle running past and the leopard began to chase the gazelle. A few minutes later, another leopard came along. The leopard looked at the baby leopard and said, sorry, I can't help. I've got to go and see my grandmother. And off it went. And as Beaky flew around, he saw that the baby leopard was in great danger. Because coming from that direction, straight towards the baby leopard, was a big male lion. And Beaky knew that if the lion saw the leopard, he would kill it, because that's what lions do. So up in the sky, Beaky flew around, and a battle was going on in his mind. I don't know if you've ever had this. One of his parts of his mind was saying, I should go and help that baby leopard. But the other part was saying, no, don't do that, because if the leopard grows up, leopards are Toucan's enemies. And so he had this battle going on. Should he do one thing or should he do the other? But as he saw the lion going closer towards the leopard, he thought, I've got to do something because that little leopard is defenceless. It won't stand a chance. And so Beaky flew down in between the lion and the leopard. And Beaky shouted at the lion, Oi, fatso, you need to go on a diet. And the lion growled at Beaky and tried to pounce on him, but Beaky just flew over there a little bit. And then Beaky turned around and said, Oi, your mane needs a good old brush. It looks like an exploded mattress. And the lion got angry and tried to jump on Beaky, but of course Beaky just flew even further away. And Beaky said, Pwah, you stink. Go and have a wash. And your teeth, they're black as coal. And the lion got so angry and he jumped at Beaky. But of course, Beaky just flew up in the sky. And the lion carried on walking in that direction away from the baby leopard. And Beaky then flew down by the baby leopard. And he could see that the baby leopard was dying because he needed food and water. So Beaky flew off into the river and got a beak full of water because toucans have big beaks and he gave the leopard a drink. And then he flew off and collected from his tree, one of his trees, his favourite red berries. And he gave the leopard that. And so Beaky saved the leopard's life and he said, I'm going to call you lucky because you're lucky to be alive. But after three days of feeding Lucky, Beaky was tired out and he realised he couldn't keep it up because leopards don't normally eat fruit and he was getting bigger and Beaky couldn't keep it up. But Beaky knew that there was a mummy leopard in another part of the area that had lost a baby cub that had died. And so Beaky flew and found her and explained all about Lucky and asked her if she'd like to adopt him and bring him up. And she said she would. So Beaky led her by flying along and she followed and introduced her to Lucky. 
and the new mummy leopard took Lucky home and she adopted him and brought him up. Now, I expect you'd know, like to know what happened to Beaky. Well, two years later, we move the story on. And this time, Beaky was married and his wife had given birth to five baby toucans. And they were up in a nest high up in a tree. And it was Beaky's job to feed them. So he would fly off a few times a day, collecting water in his big beak and his favourite red berries, bringing them back and feeding the babies. And he'd been doing this for a number of days. And one trip, he had a beak full of berries. He was flying back and he heard all the chicks and his wife cheeping and screeching. And he panicked. He knew they were in danger and he flew fast. And as he flew towards the nest, he could see that climbing along a branch towards them was a great big leopard. Beaky dropped the berries and he flew straight in between the big leopard and his babies and wife. And he looked at the leopard and said, leopard, you can't eat those babies. They're my babies. The leopard licked his lips. And he was so close to Beaky that Beaky could feel his breath on his face. Beaky said, look, they're so small, it'd only be a little tiny snack for you. You'd still be hungry, but they're all I've got. The leopard licked his lips again and he stared at Beaky. And the leopard said, Beaky, is that you? And Beaky looked back at him and said, Lucky, is that you? And Lucky said, yes, it is. And he pounced on Beaky and licked him all around his face and gave Beaky a great big wash. Oh, it's great to see you, said Beaky. You've survived. You've grown up. And, and Lucky said, yes. He said, and that's thanks to you. You saved me when I was a cub. And do you know what? After that, they became really good friends. And Beaky and his family saw Lucky every week. Now, my story is based on the Good Samaritan, which I'll quickly tell you in case you don't know that story. But Jesus was asked by um, a religious person, who is my neighbour? Because Jesus had said that the, the great commandments, the greatest commandments is to love God and love others. Oh, love my neighbour. And the man said, who is my neighbour? And Jesus told this story. And there was a man going on a journey and he was attacked by robbers, beaten up and left for dead. And a priest came along, looked at the man injured and ignored him and carried on. And then a religious lawyer came along, looked at the man and ignored him and went on his way. But then a third man came along, a foreigner a Samaritan, someone from Samaria, who actually stopped, helped the man, bathed his wounds, put him on his donkey, took him to an inn and paid the innkeeper to look after him. And Jesus said to the man, who is, who was the man's neighbour? And he said, the one who helped him. And Jesus's point was that everyone is our neighbour, everyone that we come into contact with, and we, through our lives, we will have chances to help lots of different people. And to love others is to do things to help them. Now, what about a quiz then on my story? OK, here we go. We've got 10 questions, I think it is. Question one. What was the toucan's name? Question two. Why did one of the leopards not stop to help him? And three, what animal was walking straight towards the baby leopard that would have killed him? What did Beaky do when he flew down by the baby leopard and he saw that the baby le leopard was dying? What did he do? After he'd helped him for three days, what did he then do to get the, 
the baby leopard some help as he grew up? That's question five. And question six is in my story. How many years was it after that time when when Beaky saved Lucky? How many years later did we move the story on? Number seven. How many babies did Beaky have? Number eight. When Beaky heard a big loud noise coming from his nest, what was Beaky doing? And number nine, when Beaky saw the leopard going towards his babies, what did he do? And when Lucky realised it was Beaky, what did Lucky do? And number 11, can you put in your own words what the story of the Good Samaritan or my story teaches us? OK, that's... Some of them are hard. Let's see how you got on. The toucan's name was Beaky. It's question one. Question two. Why did the leopards not stop either? One saw a gazelle or one had to visit a granite grandmother. Number three. It was a lion. Number four. When Beaky flew down after he got rid of the lion, what did he do? to stop the baby leopard from dying? Fed him berries or water? And number five, once he'd fed him for three days, what did Beaky do? The answer is he found a mummy leopard or a mummy leopard adopted Lucky. Number six, two years passed. And number seven, five babies. Number eight, when Beaky heard a noise coming from the nest, what was he doing? He was getting food or water. And what did Beaky do when he saw the leopard moving along the, the branch towards his babies? He flew in between the babies and the leopard. When the leopard realised it was Beaky, what did he do? What did Lucky do? Licked him all in the face. And number 11, put in your own words what this story teaches us. To be kind to others, to help others. To do good things for others whenever we can. Something like that. I've gone through that quite quick. I hope you got on well. Um, I'm going to say a very short prayer before I go. If you agree with my prayer, you want to make it yours, say Amen. Dear God, we thank you that you love us and we pray that you would help us to be able to help others by being kind and helpful and thoughtful towards them. Whenever we get a chance to help someone, someone help us to do that. Amen. Now, I, I hope you like my story about Beaky and, and Lucky. And when you see me again, maybe you could tell me if you liked it or not. And if you liked it, what was your best bit? OK, I hope you have a good week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>